The drill pipe circulating tool, in operation since 2001, has a proven track record of being reliable and efficient in multiple drilling applications such as land rigs and offshore shelf and deep water rigs. Its rugged design can withstand the roughest offshore conditions possible. A partial applications list of the DPC tool include circulating the pipe out of the hole in a swab condition where annulus is tight at great depths. This can be accomplished without breaking connection to circulate. Running a liner on drill pipe where autofill float equipment is run on the liner to accommodate flowback returns. Running expandable liners to provide pressure integrity for liner expansion. Circulating the mud system while tripping in or out of the hole. Controlling returns to the mud tank or trip tank. Alleviates the need for a bypass valve when managing returns. Circulate or take returns from the drill pipe at any point of travel while the DPC tool is engaged. Benefits gained from the DPC tool include rig time savings of approximately 15 seconds to make a pressure tight connection. Top drive or conventional connection not required when managing returns at the rig floor. Ability to rack back out of the way allows for top drive connection to be made without rigging down the DPC tool and this also helps to manage additional mechanical risk in a well controlled situation. High pressure rating normally configured for 7500 PSI but can be rated to 10,000 PSI by upgrading to a 10,000 PSI mud hose giving the DPC PC tool the ability to pump all fluids including cement. When pumping cement, the steel cement hose must be secured in the derrick to remove the hose weight from the tool. Rig requirements for the DPC tool is air supply at 100 PSI, an air connection of 3 8 crow's foot, and a 2 inch 1502 hammer union. The DPC tool has a minimum vertical space requirement of only 7 feet and variable bale requirements of 350, 500 or 750 tons. A bale length of 15 to 16 feet is required for top drive rigs and only 12 feet for rotary rigs. The following connections are currently in inventory and with any new connections requiring approximately a week's time to provide. Rigging up the DPC tool requires a total time of 1.5 hours. Approximately 45 minutes is needed to rig up the hoses, during which a service hand is hoisted 65 feet in the derrick to secure the swivel connecting a 65-foot and 75-foot hose, and approximately 45 minutes is needed to mount and level the DPC tool. A time savings can be achieved by rigging up the hoses simultaneously with other operations. This process can take place at any time a service hand can be hoisted in the derrick. For example, hoses can be rigged up simultaneously with rigging up casing handling equipment after drilling has been completed. The tool is preferably mounted to the right bale, which allows for the DPC tool to rack back behind the bale. If required, the tool can be mounted on the left bale, but this makes the DPC tool rack back to the front of the bale towards the V-door. When rigging up, the DPC tool is mounted to the bottom attaching bracket nine inches from the top of the tool joint. Once attached, a secondary clearance check is the stroke length available on the cylinder. Three to five inches of stroke length allows for sufficient clearance in the event of multiple work string crossovers. Once the tool is aligned on the vertical axis, the tool can be lowered to center the air motor sub over the tool joint sub. 
Once aligned and secured to the bail, the articulating arm assembly is secured again by a wire rope to the hook on land rigs or to the top drive. As a secondary measure, the 1502 unions are also secured by a wire rope.